Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger Channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com, tarot card reader, psychic medium, animal communicator, and a transformational coach using EMT, hypnosis, NLP, EFT, all the good stuff. So I've got the Tarot of Dreams deck. I'm going to give you the new moon manifesting spread and the new moon starts july the 17th let me click open the spread so you can start to see those num those cards so new moon manifesting spread july 17th um they usually last about 14 days that cycle and then we have the full moon and interestingly enough um we are moving into leo on the 23rd so about seven days out from that we'll move into the leo season out of cancer season so i've been shuffling the cards um grab your own cards and and pull along with me and this um, five card spread becomes a 10 card and it becomes a little more personable for you. So one more shuffle and then I'm gonna pull five cards, if not more, and we'll see what the cards have for us. That was a bad shuffle. Um, Spirit said, okay, I'm gonna leave it. So, all right, the seed, the first card. So this is the inspiration for us to nurture during this cycle. The fool, all right, um, this is interestingly enough, um, came up on my July 17th weekly reading. Um, and it was about, this was like the outcome. So we've got the seed is new starts, new beginnings. Definitely go watch that um, weekly Terror Energy Weekly Forecast for the 17th to the 23rd, which is really kind of cool that it's lining up. And I've been shuffling. So what do we what do we um, nurture? The beginning, the starts, the potential energy. What is the soil? This is what we want to surround ourselves with to nurture that growth. Wow. This is, make sure it's the 10, the 10 of swords. So my first thing that I hear, and this is Gemini with a little bit of sun energy, is protect yourself. So nurture yourself with the protection from the pain, but also acknowledging it, this number 10, which is a one, you've moved through the cycle of the swords, you're now at the ending, and a one is the beginning, so it's like you starting over again, so, so nurture the start again, getting out of, rid of the pain or dealing with whatever mental frustration, pain is coming at you. The cool thing about a 10, um, for me I lately I've been reading, when you get to like the 10 of swords, it's like you're starting over with a one, but it's not like you go from, you know, it's not like you go through elementary school to graduate high school and you start over elementary school again. No, you start again with what? New learning, life, job, or education, like college. You take all the, that you learned with you into the next level. All right, card number three, the stones. What do you want to find and get rid of? Um, so this is the two of cups. So I'm going to say this is a time where you might need to do this on your own. And that could be why the Ten of Swords, because it's like, what do you surround yourself with? This is all this mental energy coming at you. And it's like, no, I just put my head down. I'm ignoring all the outside voices. Protect yourself from the outside voices. So, you know, discard any help. This is usually about collaboration. This is Venus and Cancer. So love, collaboration, your partner, um, co-worker, somebody that you work with. So this could be, and it could be because, you know, discard all the emotional stuff that's going along or their emotional baggage that's going along with it. The sun, this is the advice that's going to be most beneficial in this progress right now. Ooh, this just turned out to be a fun reading, isn't it? Um, the devil. So what's the advice? Um, yeah, so we're back to you know feeling stuck, trapped, chained in place. Um, and this could be really about just kind of, it's okay, hold up a little bit. Hold up a little bit right now. I'm thinking, are we moving into Mercury retrograde or something really weird? I know there's a lot of planets or something in retrograde right now. So I may ask for some clarification cards when I do a quick review at the end here. And then the final card, <laughs> The bloom. This is the best manifestation of your current inspiration during this cycle. Ace of Cups, a new start, a new beginning, and a heart-centered one. So I'm going to ask for some clarifying cards on the tough ones. For well, I'm going to call the tough ones the Ten of Swords and the Devil. So the seed. What do we need to nurture? New start, new beginning, pure potential. Um, what do we want to surround ourselves with? Ten of Swords. Okay, what? How can we clarify that? Surround ourselves with Six of Swords. Yeah. So, move away from all the clutter, the chatter, the mental stuff. So it's it's definitely you know get away from that external chatter and crap. 
Um, the stones. Um, so get rid of partnering yet again with another emotional issue or other people's emotional stuff as well. This may be not be the time to go out with friends and have to listen to their drama, their life. This may be a time where you find um, a quiet corner, a good book, and work on yourself. Now the bloom was the devil card. So the best manifestation, give us some inspiration, guidance here. Best manifestation. All right, this is the eight of coins. So really work on it. So um, I'm sorry, the, that, that was the advice for, that would be beneficial. So card number four was the advice that's most beneficial, the devil. Work on where you're afraid, where you're scared, where you feel trapped, where you feel bombarded with other people's energy. And then the, you know, the bloom, ace of cups, I love that. It's like, okay, you'll come out stronger than before. So um, I hope you pulled some cards yourself because it may have given you a little bit more insight um, to it as well. So if you want to get your own personalized spread from me, you know, MitchellOsborne.com. Com. Look in the notes below. You can also do a little combination where it's a little bit of a discount for a new moon manifesting and full moon releasing. And we'll do both of those in one video for you. And that's like a 28 day cycle. So namaste. Have an amazing journey. Bye bye.